Where is your system? Right, so if you are right and understood considering this surgical knocking station, kindly tell me what are you looking at? It's the inner surface of the base of the cranium, the skull. Yes. Showing the uh, anterior, middle and a posterior cranial fossa. Yes. And it's foramina. Yes. So can you please tell me the boundaries of posterior cranial fossa, please? Yes, ma'am. Anteriorly, it is formed by the posterior border of dorsum cele and the and? petrous part of the uh, temporal bone. Yes. And uh, posteriorly, it is formed by the, uh, the occipital bone. Uh, okay. It, uh, at the, it is by the clivus and the occipital bone and uh, part of uh, petrous part of the temporal bone and the floor is floor consists of a mm. uh, floor consists of the clevis and the uh, occipital bone and some part of the temporal bone petrous part of temporal bone uh, condylar and basilar parts okay uh, can you please tell me what are the contents of the posterior cranial fossa? The, both the lobes of cerebellum and the part of the brain stem yes. uh, below the tentorium cerebellum is uh, in the posterior cranial fossa. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. good. Can you also tell me, uh, right, uh, what is this 11? That is foramen magnum. Yes. If you can tell me uh, mm -hmm. 30, what passes through foramen magnum other than? Uh, the medulla oblongata along yes. with its meningeal coverings, yes. vertebral artery and anterior and posterior spinal arteries yes. and uh, the tegment, uh, the tectal membranes, a pical ligament of dense and the spinal yes. part of accessory nerve. Very good. That was very good. Okay, then can you please identify structure 30 pointing at this? Zero. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's the jugular foramen. Yes. What passes through this foramen? Uh, the internal jugular vein, uh, lesser yes. pit, uh, the lesser petrosal uh, sin inferior petrosal sinus and then uh, cranial nerves uh, glossopharyngeal vagus and accessory nerves very good okay can you identify carotid canal which number is that carotid canal it's the three number three is carotid canal the carotid yes, very good yes what passes through it uh, carotid artery, internal carotid artery, along with its uh, sympathetic uh, surrounding sympathetic plexus, is in the carotid canal. Yes, and deep petrosal nerve and mesh veins. Okay, can you tell me what type of uh, what type of uh, skull lesions can there be or can be found? If there are any primary lesions or there could be max. So what would be the types, if you can give me some examples? 
Can you hear me? Are you there? Dr. Seth? I think she is getting disconnected. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me what are the lesions that can be found in the skull? In the skull, uh, uh, there can be uh, the metastatic bone, uh, secondary metastatic bony tumors, yes. and the lesions of multiple mind Paget's disease, uh, sarcoidosis, yes. osteom osteomyelitis, and hemangiomas. Okay, can you name few conditions which can give, uh, which can give lytic skull lesions? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this can be secondary metastasis from the yes. uh, renal carcinomas or the thyroid carcinomas. Uh, it can be uh, hemangiomas, multiple myelomas, sarcoidosis, Paget's disease, osteo, osteomyelitis. Can you tell me, please, uh, at what age these cranial sutures they ossify? Usually, they ossify between 18 to 20 years of age with anterior frontal closing uh, afterwards, before yes. uh, after posterior fontanel. If they fuse at birth, what is it? What is the term that is used? Oh, it's craniosynostosis. Yes, very good. What is terion? Where is it located? Tori terion is located at the junction of frontal squamous part of temporal, greater venous phenoid, and parietal bone. It is yes. the thinnest portion of the skull. I, yes. Uh, it is just and uh, it, below the terion in the inside, uh, there is middle meningeal artery. So any trauma in this part uh, yes. is related with injury, middle meningeal artery and formation of epidural hematoma. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me the, what is the, okay, what is the type of, Plate, growth plate, uh, but then we are not discussing that. Right. All right, all, all right. That we are not doing right now. All right. Basically, I've evaluated you everything. So. Amen. All right, we'll talk about middle cranial fossa. Can you please tell me the boundaries of middle cranial fossa? So whole uh, fossae will be covered. Yes, ma'am. Anteriorly, it is formed by the lesser wing of sphenoid and the cleavers of the sphenoid and the anterior clinoid process. process the dorsum cele and the petrous part of the temporal bone. And uh, the floor is formed by greater ring of sphenoid squamous and the petrous part along with uh, tegment tympani of the uh, temporal bone. Uh, it contains both the parietal lobes uh, and uh, the middle portion consists uh, contains the pituitary gland in the cella terseca. Yes. Okay. What else uh, is the content of middle cranial fossa? Pituitary gland. Yeah. And Lateral part of temporal lobe. Canal, uh, it contains carotid artery. So there is a geminal ganglion, ma'am, and yes, uh, senator. Yes, internal opening of optic canal, superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum, foramen oil, foramen spinosum. Yes. Good. This has been yes. covered. Very nice. Thank you.